If I have seen further, it is standing on the shoulders of giants. This is true for the thousands of BW graduates who have walked these campus paths and gained the knowledge that set them on the course for a life well lived. And I am one of them. Hello, I'm Bill Summers from the class of 1972, and I'm glad to be with you today to tell the story of two people who, like many of us, are graduates of Baldwin Wallace, but whose lives and work have helped all of us to see further and have left an indelible mark on our university. In order to tell this story, we must first go back in time, before Cam Hall was built, before Bill Carmel and George Boyer arrived in campus, and before BW was recognized as a leader in business education. In 1940, a student earned a business degree from this college. His name was Jacob O. Cam. He graduated summa cum laude with a perfect record for all four years. For his efforts, Jake earned the Milton T. Baldwin Prize as top senior student, an award we still give to this day. Jake went on to gain his master's degree in economics and his doctorate from Ohio State. But then Jacob Cam did two things that would change the course of this university forever. First, he returned to BW to head the then School of Commerce, which under his direction became the college's largest division, comprising a third of the student body. And as a new BW professor, he made a $100 investment on behalf of the college, which he managed and grew. We'll get back to that investment later, but now, Professor Cam is about to meet two students. In the late 1940s, two students arrived on campus, Willard, or Bill Carmel, and George Boyer. Bill Carmel followed two family members that had attended BW, and like many BW students, he worked to pay his tuition. Taking a full load of classes in business, humanities, and science in the morning, working at the local A&P grocery store in the afternoon and evening. He paused his education for a year by joining the military, which allowed him to return to BW and complete his education. He made fast friends with George Boyer, who arrived on campus in 1948. George had already served in the Navy and had returned home to New York to attend a junior college where he was recruited by a BW admission counselor. So here they were together on campus, doing what college students do, joining clubs, studying, learning about the world. The venerable Professor Cam challenged their thinking, helped to instill values important to all those who study business, to have integrity in the work they do, to have a great sense of purpose to advance the world around them, and lastly, the drive to dream bigger. They were growing and learning the skills that would last them a lifetime. This sounds like the quintessential BW story because it's true. For decades, the School of Business has helped launch the careers of some of our most respected business leaders and advance the careers of thousands more. Countless graduates have returned to campus to help form the next generation of leaders. And this legacy is about to repeat itself. Let's get back to George and Bill. Commencement day came and these newly minted business grads eagerly set forth on their careers. It's the 1960s and the BW School of Business is also thriving. Like Professor Cam, both Bill and George returned to BW to give back to the university that meant so much to them. Their parallel lives were about to intersect again with great purpose. Together they served on the college's board of trustees where they provided humble but inspiring guidance. Their combined knowledge helped BW grow its endowment. Boyer on the equity side of the fund, Carmel on the fixed income side. By 1980, BW's business students had outgrown their home on campus, and it was time to build a new academic center. As members of the Board of Trustees, they were able to envision a new hall that would become the home of the now well-respected Baldwin Wallace School of Business. This is where that $100 investment made by Professor Cam comes in. You see, that $100 was a modest investment in the future of BW. Jacob Cam didn't know then, but his own students would later multiply his investment to over 200,000 and use that to help build the hall that would bear his name. Cam Hall opened in 1983. Today, that same integrity, 
purpose and drive that fueled the career of JCAM is also kindled in every student from the BW School of Business. That same integrity, purpose and drive to make a lasting impact are the pillars of Bill Carmel and George Boyer and why we now name this school the Baldwin Wallace University Carmel Boyer School of Business. Congratulations Bill and George and congratulations to Baldwin Wallace University.